Hi there, my name is Taro Iwamoto. I am a Feldenkrais practitioner. And in this video, I'm going to show you um, another easy and simple exercise that is going to help improve the functions of your neck. And this is, um, so in the last video, I showed you how to improve the functions of the neck and, and how to lift your head a little more comfortably and what and also give you some tips and what you can pay attention to to improve that. And in today's video, it's very similar, but you're going to be lying on your side. So pick your side, I'll be on my left side, and you probably need a little more support as you're lying down on your side, so make sure that your head is supported very well, so you don't feel any strain and discomfort as you're lying down on your side. So whatever you need and to make it and to make yourself comfortable. And as you're lying down on your side first and very slowly, and you're going to lift your head away from the floor just once. So you can think about side bend in your head. Lift your head away from the floor, just only maybe two inches away from the floor. And the first thing I'd like you to I'd like you to notice is how does the head lift? And and what's the quality of lifting your head? Is it easy? Is it difficult? And how, how much effort and to lift your head? So do it one more time and just so you can feel. Okay, and try not to lift too fast or too much. Okay. It's not, um, I'm not asking you how high can you lift your head? I am asking how um, how smoothly, smoothly does your head lift, and what's the quality of the lift in your head? So now, rest your head down on the pillow or the towel, and now you're going to. <clears throat> so pay attention uh, to your side. So as you lift your head and Gently with your right hand, uh, if you're lying down on your left side, and gently press your right ribs with your right hand down towards the direction of the floor. Don't squish it, don't press it too hard. Just gently press it as you lift your head. And put it down. Lift. And down. Okay, and pay attention to the left side of your ribcage, the one that is against the floor. So as you gently press the top ribs down towards the floor, can you feel how the pressure on the opposite side of the ribs and presses into the floor as you lift your head? And can you feel that contact and the pressure increases against the floor? and without much force and effort. And can you just gently increase that pressure, okay? Intentionally press a little bit more into the floor to lift your head. Okay, and also notice that the, the top shoulder actually moves downward a little bit as you lift your head. Okay, and moving down towards the hip. So, and one more thing uh, is pay attention to your breathing and how do you breathe when you lift your head. So think about breathing out and think about letting the air out and to allow your ribcage and to fold and come. And there's more you can pay attention to, but I'll just keep it very simple. Okay, so uh, you pay attention to your ribs, both sides, okay? And feel how the opposite side of the ribs and presses into the floor a little bit. And how does that do? And how does that change the lifting of your head? And also pay attention to the top shoulder. And notice how the top shoulder moves down a little bit and bring it down. And lastly, notice your breathing 
And if you breathe out, let the air go out. And what happens to the quality of lifting a hand? Okay. I'm doing really fast. Okay. And just I want to show you and what you to pay attention to. But uh, when you actually do this movement practice, and you need to take your time, and then you pay attention to one body part and one part, and goes through that movement very, very slowly, much more slowly than what I'm showing you right now. Just for the purpose, I'm doing it fast, so I can show you. And but when you do it on your own, take a lot longer time than to practice and pay attention to each part and spend a few minutes and move on to another part and spend a few minutes and then move on to another part and just spend a few minutes and make sure to take plenty of rest in between otherwise you continue to lift in your head and so repetitively and that can be straining okay so don't do that all right and lastly after you're done paying attention this breathing lives and so forth and one last time Lift your hand just a two inches away from the floor. And notice how, what happens and to the quality of the lifting. Does it feel lighter? Does it feel easier? So that's it. Right, that was kind of quick. And, uh, but you can take a lot more time and to go through this each movement. So I hope this is helpful for you. And if you have any questions, and please let me know in the comment section and I will see you, oh, I forget. Um, if you're new to the ch this channel, and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next video. Bye-bye.